Good morning, guys. It is like uh, quarter to 11. Yeah, about quarter to 11, June, July, June, July 6th already. July 6th. Oh, my. Now, I did do a short little video. Um, or did I? Yeah, this morning. On, uh, I just check and make sure I'm presentable to you guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, what am I up to? Um, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot today. Um, I got a big day starting tomorrow morning at three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock, you say? Yeah, it's three o'clock. So what's happening at three? Well, uh, Kathy and I will be heading to. Oh, to um, we will be heading to. We will be heading to Beaver Island. To meet a guy that we call Uncle Bill. So now I've said this several times, so you know I'm getting kind of excited about it. Uh, I'm not sure there's any power on the south part of the island. It's a pretty big island. Big. Um, I'm going to guess about 15 miles wide and 30 miles long, something like that. Um, I'll get that cleared up because um, I'm not 100% sure how, how big. It's how wide and long it is but uh, it's a pretty um, backward uh, um, lifestyle out there you know people like to go there because it is that way you know there's not a lot going on at all a small town um, I'll get all the specifics on that and um, just calm relaxing you know a lot of gardening um, I don't know if there's hunting or anything on there what the wildlife is like, I, I don't know. But uh, there's a lot of fishing going on up there and just the quiet life. And I did talk to someone, oh, I know it was, Edwin, Edwin. <laughs> I mentioned that to him and I, he goes, ooh, that sounds good. I said, well, I don't know, you know, if you know, it's awful quiet and there's nothing going on, he says, hey, that's what he liked. I can go, are you kidding me? I like the, uh, like right where I'm at, Byron Center, there's uh, farm life here, suburban type style living, but we're, we actually live on a farm, an agricultural uh, plot. So it's farm, farmland, that we're, the plot that we live on. Uh, rural agricultural it's called, so you can have as many outbuildings as you want, uh, as many animals as you want, so in any kind of uh, uh, vegetation. Um, there's real lax, you know, real few uh, restrictions. That's the way I like it. So it's close enough to the city, towns, small towns. You know, you got Byron Center, you have Dory, you got Zealand, or Zealand, um, Wayland, uh, Caledonia, Cutlerville. You got all these small towns here. Kleine Dorpius. Ahela Bula, Kleine Dorpius, if you're Dutch. And you have every style of life here. You got the suburbs, suburban suburbs housing. You have uh, um, old residential homes. You have a lot of new, a lot of new residential homes. You have small businesses and some, nothing really huge. Small business, a lot of small business. And you're close enough to the highway to get anywhere you want to go quickly, like to Grand Rapids, for a big town atmosphere. Um, you're close, close to everything. Wyoming is close by, Granville is close by, and yet it's quiet out here. So anyway, blah, 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 blah. That's the kind of life, uh, living arrangement I like. I don't, I don't like the... I like to visit places like Beaver Island where you get the, a taste of the um, wildlife and you do that every once in a while to uh, appreciate not being alone <coughs> in the wilderness. So it's going to be really interesting. I'll do a lot of videoing. So for today, I am just buttoning everything up as fast as I can. Uh, the car, I'm waiting for the spark plugs to come in. Once them are in, I'll put the, the oil pan back up because the oil pan out will give me a little bit more room. I don't know. And um, 
it's coming along really well. I was hoping I could make a trip to uh, Wallingas and pick up some sheet metal, scrap sheet metal, make me a little box for the computer and the excess wire harness. Um, and again, I still have to order me a, um, a radiator. So that's where I'm at. I did some uh, bookkeeping work, so covered. What else going on? And I'll just clean up the area a little bit. I got a lot of stuff laying out, as you can see. So I'll get all the tools put away because we're only going to be gone for like three days. So it'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, I believe Thursday we come back. I thought maybe it was Wednesday night, but no. So Tuesday, Tuesday night we'll sleep on the island. That'll bring us to Wednesday. Then we're going to Sleepy Bear Dunes. And then spend another night. Someplace? I don't know. Kathy figures all that stuff out. I don't figure anything out. All I do is say, hey, let's go here. How about that? Question. You want to go there? And then she says, yay or nay. And then she does all the uh, preliminaries, the um, logistics. But I'm looking forward to see... Uh, Uncle Bill, he's been living there for 20 years. I uh, know, about 15, 16 years. I'm um, just curious how he's doing. And sounded really good on the phone. His wife passed away a couple years ago, unexpectedly. So that was strange because they're not really that old. So, all right. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do a little cleaning up underneath the car with lacquer thinner. I might have to go to the store and pick up some more lacquer thinner. It's got a little bit here. Oh, I got a little bit in here. I got a little bit in there. This is lacquer thinner, right? Lacquer thinner. And uh, here's an empty one. I need to get rid of these cans. And these things, they don't give them things away. They're like, uh, I don't know, 15 bucks, I think? I don't know. Maybe I'll do that first. I'll go, go pick that up. But right now what I did is I scraped, I cleaned this thing off here and this. It's looking pretty good. Um, I've been scraping this here. These are the seat, uh, your leg rests, your leg floor, you know, the seats are back here and then your legs drop down here, here and here. So I, I think lacquer thinner will really clean it up. If you guys have any other way to do it, let me know. This isn't too bad. It's a little bit dirty, but, uh, apparently oil leaks. And as you're driving, it plasters onto here and it gets baked on. Uh, this unit right here is pretty nasty. So I'll be doing a little bit of cleaning there. I thought I cleaned a little. Oh, yeah, I cleaned up in this area here. Just slowly making it look pretty and then maybe put a coat of paint on it to make it look prettier. So it's coming together, guys. Um, Drive train is all there. Just a matter of getting the wiring complete attached like I'm thinking the uh, fuel 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 pump in the back needs to be uh, uh, attached yet so and then of course the radiator the radiator the radiator is gone so all right let me get to work and then uh, I'll fill you in as to how far I got today see ya oh by the way the day is gorgeous why don't we step outside real quick very quickly and take a look. Yeah, I think Chris. See, oh, they're here now. They went to the. They went to the. Um, Kent trails. Walk the trails. And yeah, I need to uh, take care of my landscaping here. Hey, this is a barn. Stop it. And this here. I like this stuff over here. These weeds are coming out, and they almost look like they're. They're planned. <laughs> and then this just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. And that stuff right there, this whole area will be a chicken, free range chicken. I guess they call it free range. No, it's not really free range, but they'll be running around in there eating up all the grass. Oh, another thing I want to do too is make a, uh, a, I want to build a, uh, a little run for the turtle. So it only needs to be like four by four. 
then the ground will stay open, the sides will be all uh, uh, chicken wire. I got tons of chicken wire upstairs. But I'm a little nervous of walking upstairs because of the, the, the wasps. There's wasps nests up there like crazy. My fault because I, I have the window open up there. And uh, yeah, they love it up there. So that's what I'll do. I'll uh, take care of a few things and then start cleaning this up and then I'll tell you how far I got. Alrighty. I'm going to say hi to Dave Voss, Dave Cleary, Wes Schreier, Randy West. I'm just throwing out names. Gary West, Jeff Jackowitz, James Climack, Jennifer Stevens. I'm just coming up with names that pop in my head right now. Uh, Leon Supreme and his wife Amy. David Borson, <laughs> James Harlett, Herco, uh, Leon Hendricks, yeah man, Ed Veltman, John Tenhoff or Jan Tenhoff, Jerry DeYoung, Jerry what's going on man, get a hold of me, John Lewis, Bob Elma, Pam Elma, Jim Hendricks, and Danny Van Dyken, where are you guys at? Brian Key and Raj Brands. Anyway, hi guys. David Cleary. Be cool. Anthony Shanahan. I better stop. <laughs> I'm missing people. See ya. Bye.